today I am going to be filming another bookshelf tour. So I know you guys are probably thinking you just uploaded a bookshelf tour like two weeks ago. I know, but I changed my bookshelf a lot and as you can see I changed it again. So now I have a lovely rainbow bookshelf. So this is going to be a rainbow bookshelf tour. So taste the rainbow. That was like the Skittles tagline. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. So starting with the top of my bookshelf, I just have a few knickknacks up here. And I have all my nail polishes. And then I have my uh, Scholastic limited edition Harry Potter box set. Um, I'm not gonna take it down just cause it's kind of a pain. And then I have a Polaroid camera and a little dragon beanie baby on top. And just this little um, butterfly frame thingy. Okay, so now for the actual rainbow bookshelves. Here I have my reds, oranges, and yellows. And I just have up here a sticker from the Strand Bookstore in New York City. So I have Mouse Volume 1 and Mouse Volume 2 by Art Spiegelman. Winger by Andrew Smith. Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Girl of Nightmares by Kendare Blake, the final book of the Anna Dress and Blood duology. And this is actually an autographed copy. Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page, Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld, Rumors by Anna Godberson, the second book in the Lux series, Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear, the first book in the Precious Gemstones trilogy, Sula by Toni Morrison, Forever by Maggie Stiefvater, the, I want to say, third book in the Wolves of Mercy Falls trilogy, Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, the second book in The Hunger Games, Blood Red Road by Moira Young, Asunder by Jodie Meadows, the second book in the uh, New Soul trilogy. And this one is signed to Allegiant by Veronica Roth, the heartbreaking conclusion to the Divergent trilogy. Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver, the second book in Delirium. City of Glass and City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, books three and four respectively of The Mortal Instruments. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Pulse by Patrick Carmen, The Distance Between Us by Casey West, A Need So Beautiful by Suzanne Young, Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut, The Help by Catherine Stockett, Burn for Burn by Jenny Hahn and Siobhan Vivian, and finally Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. So on this next shelf I have my greens and some aquas and then the start of my blues. So first I have City of Bones, the first book in the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I can't take it out because it's holding up the shelf. Then I have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. The Maze Runner by James Dashner, Linger by Maggie Stiefvater, the second book in The Wolves of Mercy Falls, this awesome edition of David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, Insurgent by Veronica Roth, the second book in the Divergent trilogy, Brave New World by Adolf Huxley, I really don't know how to say his name, I want to say Adolf, but I don't think that's right. Fangirl by Rainbow Ruel, Infinite by Jody Meadows, the final book in the New Soul trilogy, then I have my lovely box set of Percy Jackson and the Olympians by Rick Riordan, and I'm not going to take them out. Um, if you want to see the covers to that and my Harry Potter box set, you can go and watch my July book haul. Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi, the final book in the Shatter Me trilogy. Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi, the second book in the Under the Never Sky trilogy. Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, the first book in that trilogy. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin... Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Lear Sainez. Unravel Me and Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, the first two books in the Shatter Me trilogy. Divergent by Veronica Roth, the first book in that trilogy. And finally, City of Ashes, the second book in the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, which I also can't take out because it is also holding up the shelf. Moving down, we have the rest of my blues, and then I have purples and pinks. So first I have Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. Hollowed by Cynthia Hamm, the second book in the Unearthly trilogy. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater, the first book in The Wolves of Mercy Falls. Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, the final book in The Hunger Games trilogy. The Summer I Turn Pretty by Jenny Han, the first book in that trilogy. Everything is Illuminated by Jonathan Safran Foer. The Forsaken by Lisa M. Stoss, the first book in that trilogy. When I say that trilogy, I mean the trilogy, or like the series or whatever, is named the same as the book. 
Watership Down by Richard Adams, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, the first book in that trilogy, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, Mind Games by Kirsten White, the first book in that duology, Night by Ellie Wiesel, Sapphire Blue by Kirsten Geard, the second book in the Precious Gemstones trilogy, Four by Veronica Roth, which is the collection of novellas for Divergent, Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delera, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss, the first book in that trilogy, Unearthly by Cynthia Hand, the first book in the Unearthly trilogy, Incarnate by Jody Meadows, the first book in the New Soul trilogy, Splendor, the final book in the Lux series by Anna Godberson, The Effortless by Julie Halpern, What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick, Once We Were by Kat Zing, the second book in the Hybrid Chronicles, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, the first book in the, I don't know if it's companion novels, but the Anna and the French Kiss series, I guess? Boundless by Cynthia Hand, the final book in the Unearthly trilogy. The Uprising by Lisa M. Stoss, the second book in the Forsaken trilogy. And The Alchemy of Forever by Avery Williams. So this next shelf here has a couple of my pinks, and then whites, creams, grays, and the start of my browns. So first I have The Lux by Anna Godberson, the first book in that series. Then I have Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. Black City by Elizabeth Richards, the first book in the Black City trilogy. Delirium by Lauren Oliver, the first book in that trilogy. Envy by Anna Godberson, the third book in the Lux series. White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout, the first book in the Dark Elements. And this one is signed as well. And they have The Program by Suzanne Young. The Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Ignore all the post-its, I did a project on it. Catch 22 by Joseph Heller. Room by Emma Donahue. The One by Kiara Cass, the final book in the selection series, but I unfortunately only own this one right now, um, but I'm going to get the other soon. Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, which is signed. Say What You Will by Cammie McGovern. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. Every Day by David Levithan. Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman. Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo, the first book in the Grisha trilogy. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. What's Left of Me by Kat Zhang. Immortal City by Scott Spear. Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, the first book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. And finally, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. So this next shelf has brown, some grays, and black. So I actually can't take out the first four books on this side just because they're holding up the shelf with that little um, paperback on top of it. So I have The Partials by Dan Wells, Speak by Laurie House Anderson, Hollow City by Ransom Briggs, the first book in Miss Peregrine's trilogy, uh, and Tumble and Fall by Alexandra Coots. Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin, City of Heavenly Fire, and City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, the final two books in The Mortal Instruments, The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, the second book of the Mara Dyer trilogy, Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook, the first book of the Tiger's Curse series, Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, the second book of the Lunar Chronicles, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey, the first book of that trilogy, Bewitching by Alex Flynn, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, the first book in, obviously, The Hunger Games trilogy, Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, Uninvited by Sophie Jordan, Reboot by Amy Tintera, Cinder by Marissa Meyer, Cinder by Marissa Meyer, the first book in the Lunar Chronicles, then I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer, which I can't take out also because it's holding up the shelf, Taken by Aaron Bowman, and The Diviners by Libba Bray. Please, I'm sorry, this final shelf is a little bit... It's kind of my junk shelf. So I have a few black books on this shelf. I have Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Unwind by Neil Shusterman. Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendare Blake. And Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. And then I have books that I'm borrowing either from the library or from friends. And then over here I just have um, some mass market paperbacks in my Ugly series. And then I have my Doctor Who Giant Vault book. Probably thinking, Haley, if John Green is your favorite author, why don't you have any of his books? They have their own shelf. Um, they have a shelf over my bed that I put them on. So I have some little knickknacks um, from Fault in Our Stars. So then I have the Fault in Our Stars, the movie edition and the normal edition. I have Let It Snow that he wrote with Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. I have Paper Towns. I have Will Grayson, Will Grayson um, with David Levithan. I have An Abundance of Catherines, Looking for Alaska, and the limited edition Fault in Our Stars audiobook. 
So that is all for my rainbow bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!